With working in Flash, sometimes you want to move lots of objects at once. Uh, for example, let's say I wanted to put my name inside here. I have a blank Flash document open. I'm going to go ahead and put my name inside here. Let's say I wanted all the letters to fly in from a different direction to here. Now I've typed my name in. First thing I want to do is name my layer. It's always important to name your layers to keep organized. And I'm going to save my document. And I'm going to save it as Miller moving text. All right, now what I want is I want each letter to fly in on its own from a different direction. What I could do is I could click on the type tool and type each letter in its individual type box. Click on the move tool, go back to the type tool. And this takes a long time where I would type each letter and then I would add in the motion for each one. Instead, what I want to do, let me delete those, is I want to break apart my letters here. To do that, I'm going to press Control B for break apart. Now, I'm only going to press this once. If I press it twice, it makes it so it's no longer text. And now that I have my text edited or my text selected, what I want to do is send it so that each letter becomes its own layer. I'm going to right click and go down. And this is with every letter selected. And you can't see this. I'm going to right click. You can't see it on the recording, but I'm going to go down to where it says distribute to layers. Let me see if I can make this higher so you can see it. There we go. You right click, you go distribute to layers. Now what this has done is it has broken up each letter to its own layer. And you can see that up here in the timeline. Every letter has been broken up and they've been taken out of my original Miller uh, layer. What I want to do now is add in a keyframe for all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and select this out here. I selected multiple keyframes at once. I'm going to press F6 on the keyboard. This copies what was in the original keyframe and puts it in the, the last keyframe. Now I want to add a motion tween. Let me stretch this out here so you can see. To stretch out your timeline, just hover your cursor in between the timeline and the stage. Looks like that's as far as it'll let me stretch. You can see each of the letters. What I'm going to do is right click on these, create motion tween for each one. And you probably can select all of them at once and create a motion tween. Now I click on frame one, unselect everything, and I'm going to drag the M off a little bit. Let me zoom out. Control minus will let you zoom out. I'll zoom in just a little bit more. I'm going to drag the M off the stage there. I'm going to drag the I off the stage here. I'm going to drag the L off the stage. I'm going to drag the L off the stage over here. And I'm going to drag the E off the stage over here. And I'm going to drag the R off of here. Now what I've done, because I've already created the end keyframe where I want the text to finish, I've only edited the beginning. Now if I press enter on the keyboard, notice how I have this animation that brings in all the letters into the center. Now I can also do other things. If I select a letter and I go down here to the properties panel, actually I'm going to click on the first frame. If I click somewhere inside of the tween, it shows me the motion tween, and it says scale, it says ease. Ease is how fast it goes in or out, and it also says rotate. And I'm going to change this to rotate clockwise one time, and I'm going to change each of the letters to rotate counterclockwise. Maybe I'll do this one two times clockwise. So I'm just selecting each of the lay layers, and I'm changing the letters to rotate. Maybe this one I want to rotate four times. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And once again, I'm going to watch it. And so now you can see those letters are rotating. So instead of just the letters moving in, I have them rotating as they come in. So this is how you can add more uh, excitement to your flash files. Add motion, add rotation to the tween so that the objects rotate as well. Go ahead and save this. 
create something where you have text that moves in, save it and upload it as your name dash moving dash text. 